and then I will convert as a bonus action. I will convert two source using flexible casting to convert two sorcery points to one to level one star slot. All right. For now, I think that all. You're not gonna attack. Uh, preparing something. Mm. I cannot attack because I cast blue already. Oh, okay. And then I'll just uh, uh I'll shout at Carl. Bringing your archon in here, and then EOT. The archon is not doing anything. The light is shining on him, but he's he's not affected. No, no, no. I don't want the place to be dark. And you will know why. <laughs> Info gathered. Now let's see what the player do. Pass the turn, GM. Alright. Camille. <clears throat> Yo. I shall move. In. All right. In. Uh. In. Oh wow, my graphic crash. Okay lah. Into this corner and then uh, seeing that in front tu sangat smart, I will just a long bow. Oh, you can see from there. All right. Maybe my line of sight just crashed. <laughs> uh, okay, let me double check for you. Yes, you you saw some somebody that seems to be ho hovering or standing in front of Leona wait, from what? your vantage wait, wait. point. Wow. Okay. <laughs> okay. <Meh. laughs> you give a <clears throat> you your you give a long shot literally. <laughs> And you literally misses Leona by several inches. Yeah. And you also misses the, the person in front of him. I blow a flying kiss to Trixie. Hi Trixie, long time no see. <laughs> <coughs> yep. Spend those barging inspiration, man. As you move that okay, as you do that. You can hear steps, footsteps behind you as several figures went down the stairs, the ladder, into the already crowded burning ship. Uh, what? <laughs> burning ship, which is very interesting. <laughs> All right. So, Camille, anything else that you want to do? EOT. And I look look behind. Oh, siapa tu? <clears throat> Those were... The the very per, the very persons that you hitch a ride uh. onto this ship with. Ah. Well, they let they let you into their party for a while because one of their party members uh, is missing, <laughs> similar to your party in the first place. Wow. All right, uh, GM. What are these? Yeah. Those are books, rows of books. Mm, all right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move around him and okay. stab him. Uh, wait, double checking. No, there's a, uh, stab him with the rapier. Stab, stab. 15, does it hit? It does. Mm. So I move around him quite quickly and step in the back haha and I right. will let's see, this is 10 15 I will jump through well not really through but jump over the bookshelf to the far end corner and uh, let's see bonus section what can I do with my bonus section bonus section uh, I have none if I remember right. Mm, yep, none. Uh, I will end my turn. 
Right. <clears throat> so you end your turn. Call. Ah, oh, god damn it. I, uh, I cannot use Eldritch Blast because it's close combat. Mm-hmm. What can I do? Ah, Chen Chen, welcome back. You? Chen Chen? We are fighting a vampire now. Hey Chen, I heard you prepare water walk, ah. Huh? Huh? <laughs> what? Huh? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> That's funny. I hope you prepare water walk going on a burning oh. ship. Water walk ada, water walk ada. <laughs> oh, he's here. Eh. Eh, Dota tadi menang tak? Kalah. Ah. Fuck. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hmm. Tak tahu apa nak buat lah sekarang. Tunggu sekejap lah. You know what, Jem? I will do what I do. Uh, hmm, cannot also lah. What do I'll, you do? I will... You do Aldrich Blast all the time. <laughs> you want not, on it, is it? I'll, I'll give him my secret water. I do Oh, I do have a sound effect machine. Let's see if I can make it work. Secret water! <laughs> Unzip pants. Zip. So, <laughs> you are safe. Safe, safe, safe. All right. Yeah, so, safe or be sprayed with my sacred water. Ew. <laughs> ew, 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 disgusting. Oh my god. <laughs> Fails. Ah! Yep. So dexterous. <laughs> okay. As a bonus action, I will use my familiar Lantern Archon to attack you. Wait, what? Light rain. Nope. Yeah, 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 fix only. Okay. And one, two, four, six, seven, one, eight. She will blink in here. Beep. Darkness on beep. And she will step this bar- this bar- bugger. Bugger. Yeah, yeah, let's go with bugger. Step this bugger. Uh, shot top. Fuck you! Hits. Oof. Uh, that That's it. He got sprayed. He got sprayed with holy sacred water and stabbed by the sword. <coughs> Alright. <clears throat> so what you do? What you saw is okay. It, it is a a crowd crowd attack on the the figure. And the figure was was pummeled left, right, stabbed, <laughs> and pissed on. I mean, uh, watered on. <laughs> Anything else? I'll end with them. You will on your turn, okay? No, it's okay, Kenis. It's a black hoodie. What do you do? <laughs> can't see the vampire. I can't see the vampire. Blah blah blah. How can you see? <laughs> They seem to be not focusing on you as of right now. They seem to be following where Camille is heading. Did Camille founded a new group? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think so. But there's uh, something else in the turn order. Oh, God. Really? Black pudding. Wait, what?
Okay. He will EOT. Oh shit, right. that's a pudding. Pudding? I pudding. thought you like pudding. <laughs> Did I say I like pudding? No. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Carl. Yes. Um, yes. You were intently focused on that, uh, on the vampire in front of you. Um, mm. And one thing that you barely notice is something started seeping out from under the door Boy, behind you. Huge. Something started <laughs> and it made contact with your feet from under the door. Mm. Excellent. Excellent. Do the board. Oh no. Nah, I Yep. You can you can hear something sloshing or plattering and then you manage to dodge it. You move your feet just in time. And you saw black echo. That seems to be trying to grasp on you. See, I think. See, Vincent Mobius, I should, we should just shut the door and just use sickening radiance. <laughs> god damn it. Oh god. Alright, so. Uh, the vampire knows that it is being surrounded and, and outnumbered. And it starts giving out a, a screech. Okay, and it's looking at you, Carl. You see me now? I'm in darkness. Magical darkness. You're yeah, you can't see mind. me now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But this thing is my siphon. Yep. But you only have to detect your presence only. Yes. No, I think that vampire targets a creature. It can see. <laughs> it can't see me because I'm in magical darkness. Well... Uh, DC 14, saving throws, regardless. Aww. <laughs> don't worry, you don't have the disadvantage because you haven't beaten you yet. I haven't, that's, I haven't tasted you. Uh. I haven't tasted the water though. <laughs> what the heck? Wow. wow, that's a bad roll. It got lucky. Even though that. Wow. Psychic damage, 8d6. Wow, that's a lot. Target scenario emotion state. Wow. Ayo. Different by target execution. Emotional damage. Oh, you there? Yeah, yeah, I'm there. Just suffering emotional damage. Okay, oh. because of the darkness, it will be halved. Yeah. Oh, the dark. <laughs> Intellectual damage. <laughs> Yes, it is, isn't it? Yes, it is, isn't it? Thirteen. Fourteen, is it? Yeah. Fourteen, eh? Oh, yep. You were disrupted uh. on both sides. From in front and from the sudden appearance of the thing, the, the black slick from under the door. Right, right. And then wham! <coughs> That's weird. My speed, my speed is it's not changing. Wait, uh. At least I have to manually edit it. That's weird. 
<laughs> nope, my HP is done. But it's not reflected on the bar, but it's fine. Okay. Wow, that's painful. Very painful. <clears throat> Fuck. Oh. And it's done. And as okay, one thing that the the screech seems to attract something else. Oh, God. The, all of you can hear something like scratching. Yes, something like talent on wood. But you have no idea where it is coming from. Morbius, your turn. Yeah. Uh, this must be a little bit. Okay. As all of this is happening, I will slowly take off of my hood and then start to elongate all of my limbs. And as a bonus action, Al will turn. And where? <laughs> Dread. Form of Dread. So I get 10, uh, 1d10. Roll d10 first. 8 plus my Warlock level, is it? That is so ten temper ten hit point. Form of dread. Rawr. And the closest to you can can hear the vampire says, "Brother, why do you side with these creatures?" creatures. Do not just take me off your squandrel race. Then I had to call a silver dagger and attack uh, it. Why do you play with daggers? Silvers! Attack it using, as a, an action, using booming blade. Boom, boom, boom. Filling the energy to the dagger and transferring uh, so normal attack, I just point out the booming priest spell uh, because I'm not using a normal dagger, I'm using a silver dagger. Okay. Uh, wait, uh, where's, where's the booming priest? <coughs> Hit the spell, so I will attack it with a normal dagger. So, uh, yeah, silver dagger. 1.5 damage if it's weak. 18. Alright. Why is it at the door? Um, what's this? Rolling. Oh, this is modded? Plus one? The modded? I don't know. Oh, plus one is neat. And this, if it uh, weak to silver, you got six piercing. If it's not weak to silver, it's only four. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. And uh, it is hit right, so it yes, will be it enveloped is. by the brandish of my dagger booming thing. If it tries to move, it got, uh, it will kinda thunder damage. Boom. <clears throat> and does it have an immunity to frighten? If not, he, it have to roll or not be frightened by me. Wisdom? Uh, yeah, wisdom. DC? DC... You know... 15, I'm I assuming. Know. Yeah, I think he's using my spell casting. Lah. DC 15, yep. Yeah. Alright. Oh, he's scared of you, blah, blah, blah. Frightened. Sonic Boom! <laughs> Brother, yeah. 
You raise your dagger against another. <laughs> and the else <laughs> more That's all for now. You managed to do lots of nasty things on your brethren. I mean, uh, the creature. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, Chen woke up and found himself inside a room. Woke up? What was he doing? <laughs> Chen, are you there? Yep. Yep. Okay. And Chen, uh, what room are you yes, in? Yes, yes, the yes. The room with fire, yes. obviously. <laughs> Wait, what? Is it my skin or I'm I'm seeing two Chen at the screen? I don't know. I'm I'm not, I'm not even there. What were you smoking? <laughs> Wrong game. I can't help you. In fact, I'm getting pummeled horribly now. <laughs> where where are you actually? <laughs> I am either in the room or outside with the the dead elemental. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> End of the corridor. Oh yeah lah, because previously he also fight uh, help us okay, fight. Okay, okay, there. <laughs> All right, <laughs> you are there, <laughs> and then you you have <clears throat> strangers around you. Uh, if I was to right you know uh, do I perceive this okay, right. <clears throat> you saw Uh, towards the end of the corridor, uh, something, some tendrils on some something black, like black slick, uh, oily stuff, seems to be uh, grabbing towards uh, Carl, that you can see. If you can't see me, you're seeing a black, black, a uh, black darkness. A cube yes, top. it's black against black, so you might be confused a bit. <laughs> like seeing, ah, oh, there's the cube of blackness. What's that? It looks like tendrils of blackness. Attack it! Yep. Attack the darkness! <laughs> I think that'll be interesting. <laughs> uh, if you attack both darkness, the end will roll. <laughs> which darkness, that, which black thing that you are attacking? Uh, okay. Uh, do we have any Indians in the party? Just, just, just asking. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> I got. I yeah. Ah. I. It here. So. Okay. <clears throat> you move there. You move, move past. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you move past the the flames that is going from under the the door. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, Jay. Yep. Oh, God. What is it from? Oh, tak boleh. I just end my tea, je lah. Good. Okay. So you are ending your turn, is it? Alright, so, new rounds. Camille, it's your turn. Orinotan. Mm. I will shoot the whatever everyone's fighting. Which one? <laughs> whatever everyone's fighting. <laughs> okay. Wow, longbow, oh. net 20. Yeah. Yeah, but what? Which which one are you shooting? Because uh, there's the black. It's the drinker. It'll be my drinker first. Yeah. Uh, uh, the 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 one the one in front of Trixie. You can see. Oh. Yes. Yeah, I can. Yes, I have eagle eyes. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> okay, <laughs> luckily, lucky. Otherwise, you hey. shoot the black net. Okay, I will roll a fifty fifty percent chance. Ah, <laughs> huh, all right. 
All right, so interesting. So nice. It's fifteen damage. And then after and then, I hit Buza, uh, yeah. Yeah. Ah, continue, continue. You okay? It hits directly at the temple of the vampire. Huh. Temple of the Thunder. Yep. The temple of the no. The temple of the vampire. Your arrow stuck there, and then it collapsed onto the ground. Ha ha! Camille is dead. Finally, Camille killed something in the campaign. Wait, you you did kills before? Ah, really? Ah. Yeah. 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 Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Too much weed. <laughs> okay. And then, as I see flames in front of the door in front of me, I move to the other side. All right. Uh, and then I say, "Oh, it's you guys, the mask guys. Hi, mask guys. Okay. Uh, the Mercedes mask guys. Hi. Thanks for the ride. Ah, uh, the door is burning. Just so you know." Uh, Alright. So, hmm? Yeah. Your tea. Okay. Call. Your turn. Mm-hmm. The vampire is dead, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, you mean they did than than before? I I, I step I step on it. Wait. Uh, you move. Didn't you uh, trigger attack of opportunity? Yes. No. No. Yeah, but he can't see me. You cannot attack what you cannot see. Because I'm in the back. darkness. The skill of darkness here. Well. Does it have blind sight or true sight? Does it have true sight or blind sight? It does have. Ah, oh, fuck. Yeah, because it's a pudding. Pudding. It is by sense. Twenty-one. Oh. Oh. One, one only. One only. The first one. The first one. The first one. Uh, no, because the the thing I didn't lagging. I don't know why the system is a bit laggy tonight. Like, the first one. Alright. So seven yep. plus three. So total of oh, seven, eight, nine, ten damage. No, it's plus twenty-one. Plus twenty-four. Oh, no, no, no. Twenty-four. Twenty-four is the crit. Yeah, for the crit, it's seven. Seven plus, plus three plus twenty-one. Plus twenty-one. Mm. For the acid damage. No, no, yeah. 7 plus 7 plus 31. Yeah, yeah. 7 plus 20. Oh, okay, so that's how... how uh, I'm, I'm still down. I'm still down. I'm down. <coughs> right, I'm down. That's it. My icon disappears. Yeah. And Trixie as well, right? Yeah, Trixie as well. Okay. I'm down. Yeah. You try to sidestep it thinking the, that you are well hidden. And then suddenly one, one of the sweeping tendril caught you. You scream in pain as acid burns through your thigh. The pain is so overwhelming that it engulfs you and then you blacked out. And the darkness disappears. Leona, you saw this. uh, No, you hear it. (laughs) You hear all the commotion. What the hell just happened? I'll move right behind Morb to take a look see okay alrighty then that's not cool um as an action I will search this desk <laughs> lol <laughs> okay uh, I'll use the search what is it GM uh, investigation or perception uh you investigate alright let's see Four. I s- find. What do I find before, GM? Well, you you saw crumpled pieces of paper, uh, some notes that seems to be, uh, just doodles of stuff. I take everything I see on the desk. Okay. Including this book. Okay. Everything I see. <laughs> everything. 
Okay, Roger that. All right, and um, as a bonus action, um, let's see. Uh, what what can I do with my bonus action? I think I have one. I think I have one. I think that I have one. Uh, B A. All right. Um, as a bonus action, I will <coughs> say words of um, encouragement to Carl. Let's see. Um, and there, who's unconscious? Carl. Encourage the unconscious. Yes. It's okay. You can get up now. Really good. Yeah, listen, listen. You want to get, you want to get away from me, okay? <laughs> hey, get away ten feet from me. Oh. Oh my God, he's gonna blow. Oh no, <laughs> that's what she said. Okay, okay. So none, none, none. Run. GM, um, Carl just gained six, and then I end my turn. <clears throat> All right, Carl gained six. Okay. Oh, sorry, I can't swear. Why? Why not? <laughs> so you are you and your turn, right? Yep. Okay. Somebody is doing something. Okay. He saw what is unfolding and decided not to stick around. Smart move. Okay. Next. Okay. Kenis. It's your turn. I shoot the pudding. All right. Sixteen, that's it. Yep, both hits. Oh. You saw it grasping and you hit whatever that's moving. That's trying to engulf a call that is still on the floor recovering. Okay, both hits. Anything else that you are doing? Kenneth EOT And this thing started moving Ayo. from under the the doorway. And it seems to be trying to get closer to call. Getting cozy. Ah. Oh no. Ayo, for one d eight, eh? A creature yeah. that touches Can't say it like you or has hit it with melee attack within five feet of the any damage. Ayo, down like this. I don't have anything to reduce that. I wish I had bardic inspiration to reduce it. Then, uh, oh, okay. Oh. Yeah, for me, okay. You, 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 you,
Healing, healing, healing. Healing. Healing ah. Ah, healing can. Okay. Come down, you uh. Eh. So, this person started rushing forward to the ooze. Who was the ooze and started shooting Pew. with a heavy crossbow. Ten. Hits. It does hit. Immune to... Shouted, Brethren! <laughs> The Lord asked us here, feel no pain, and it's a thousand. No. Wait, what? Another no. vampire? Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. This one is died. The 10 vampire yep. 2 is still alive. <laughs> Something is really scratching, scratching. Vampire don't know open doors ah. Well, you can only count. <laughs> One. <laughs> Love <Two. the> <laughs> All right, Morbius. Yeah, you Morbius. Can hear, you right. can hear scratches. That's very apparent. <laughs> should I do? What should do you I do? do? Run away. Run. Okay, from here, I uh, will shift the silver dagger for now, and then point my hand towards the ooze, and not too near. Can go. So, can can can. I'll cast Eldritch Blood at. The Right. Thirty-five. Six nice. Yeah. Move away. Move away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I'll start move away. Move away from me. Move back here. <laughs> get it away. Get it away. Get it away now. Don't no, no, no. stay ten feet away from me. <laughs> Then... Vincent, stay 10 feet away from me. You, you need me to be 10 feet of you. Away. Uh, I'm 10 feet of you. Uh, fi yeah, 15, I guess. Okay. Yep. Yeah. And then I'll stay there for now. And EOT. Alright. This... Oh, right, one another person started moving and rushing forward. As he walked past the the flaming door, it doesn't seem to be bothered him at all. And then he just huh, brushes off the flame as if it is nothing. And he stopped there. Last person Moving. Ben Helsing. Oh, the top hat dude. The bucket dude. Alright, and then he'll try to shoot. Ooh. 19. 6. Nice. Brothers. This shall be our finest hours. Show this one hero wannabe how we do things. Emil, your turn. I want to them. I want to. I want their food to die. <laughs> I want to let them fight. Yeah. See their misery. Misery. Oh, the misery! I move. Uh, I want to move somewhere uh, where I can heal Kazuma, but but I am away from the door of flames. You have sixty feet. And, words. 
Yeah, and uh, okay, uh, my my line of sight just crashed, so uh, DM move me somewhere. <laughs> Uh, somewhere closer to where the pudding is? No, no, no. Somewhere closer to the fiery door. Am I? Am I? No, 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 no. I want, I want somewhere where I can kill Kazuma, but away from the door. <laughs> Somebody saying that. Uh, get him away from. Uh, okay. Technically, he could be around here. The sixty within his range. Ah, uh, yeah. Somewhere lah, and just uh, okay. put me there lah. All right. So you are there. Nah, okay. wakey wakey. Chen, you are in the turn order. Why are you not in the turn order? Oh yeah, that's strange. <laughs> ah, tadi ada what? Yeah. He he did nothing. So, I mean, biasnya. Yeah, he's thirty one. <laughs> no 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 no. Ini ini bagus lagi. Tadi I think he is uh, bawah. Eight 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 yeah eight, okay eight. And then after waking up Kazuma, I take out my shield and hand crossbow and I pew pew the pudding. Pew pew. Hand crossbow? That should be 30. You're shooting at disadvantage. Ah, okay. It's so bad, eh? Why? Yeah, because it's uh, when you shoot away from 30 feet, uh, anything that goes beyond that is uh, disadvantage. Hand crossbow? Yeah, yeah the hand crossbow hand, yeah. is 30. Which is why I, I switched to short bow and then long bow. But now I'm using a shield. So yeah. I, I didn't know. Oh, 30, yeah? Shit. Yeah, That's optimal like... range is 30. Beyond that. 15, 15. Even more than that. that is a disadvantage, but it can reach up to 120. Mm-hmm. Yeah, take whichever damage. Uh, after that, UT. Take whichever damage. Oh yeah, the same. Okay. Okay, after that, it's Uti. Call! Me. Okay. I'm going to do this, Jam. Yeah. Are you up? I up, huh? thanks to the healing word. Oh. Are you? Yeah. Healing word gives have, him yeah. 8, 8 HP. Okay. Okay, and I'm going to do this. What are you going to do? Give me a second. Loading. Yeah, see this. I have a bad feeling about this. Oh no. Armageddon. All then are destroyed. Oh no. What's that? What's that? What's that? Thunderstep. Uh, Thunderstep. Oh, okay. Wait, what? What happened to him? Who's the <laughs> They teleport and then uh, the other keeper space too. TV TV ada ni thundery something. Oh no! <coughs> Thunder! <laughs> Thunder! Thunder strike! So wait, uh, it is in within ten feet of where he casted it, right? Yeah, you yeah. see. Yeah, we're, we're cool. We're cool. Get like, get away from me! <laughs> yeah, so this ten feet. Yeah, okay. Anybody around Carl when he did that? Uh, the who's and I don't know if the vampire is near the door or not. Uh, I, 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 all I see is the who's and I don't see where Carl went, so... Hmm. <clears throat> Alright, so DC 15 of what, is it? Yeah, DC 15, or oh, half it. It wasn't that high though, 6 plus 6 plus 6. Alright, is DC 15 right. of what, is it wisdom? Hey, yeah, give me a second. Uh, 32 plus 7, con, so it's 30. Con, yeah. con save. One thing. DC fifteen. Fifteen. Oh, mm. uh, as Carl was under the the, the ooze, uh, something the the boom was a bit muffled. Boom. <laughs> Wait, did he say Shazam? <laughs> say my name. Shazam. <laughs> say my name. <laughs> Billy. <laughs> No, no, my other name. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Anyway, it's just a, a muffled boom. Hmm? You, you, you saw that as if uh, somebody farted in the water or something or to that to that effect. Somebody farted in the swimming pool. 
the, <laughs> the it's like the ooze almost <coughs> parted then it reemerged <laughs> like normal we'll stand up uh, at my turn as I I almost died. I I I I could have seen every summer. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Leona. All right. So you saw um, that. Okay. Um, technically, I felt it. Uh, I'm going to let's see. Huh, is, is, wait, wait. Yeah, is the vampire near near me when I do that? Within ten feet of me. Which vampire? You know. The vampire that we cannot see. All right. Um, well. I'm no going to move <laughs> up to the monster and stab it. Stab it, stab it, stab it, stab it. Stab it, stab it, stab it, stab it. Alright. Nine. Sorry, um, I have... It's... No one's... No allies around me, right? And, sorry, no yeah. one... No one else is around me, right? No. Uh, Diona, are you sure you want to do that? Yes. Did you remember what he did to me? Yes. Good luck, Leona. No, no, no. Did you remember what I did to me? Read, read the corrosive form. Corrosive you need to take form. one yeah. attack. When you do a melee attack to it, you get it's one okay. Her armor very cheap. It's okay. Wait, what? And you take the oh. opponent make one penalty to damage rolls. Uh, a creature that so touches the pudding or hits it with a melee attack within five feet of it, take one hit. So... Oh. But her weapon's magical, by the way. Yeah, yeah. Her yeah. weapon's magical. <laughs> We're taking one D8 as it damage. Does she want that? Oh, I didn't notice this one. A creature that touches the pudding or hits it with a melee attack with, while within 5 feet takes. Uh, any so, Kelo, one damage only. Uh, one D8. Okay, give me a second. I did not notice that part. Huh. The heat of battle, you forgot all that <laughs> around. <laughs> oh, alright. Let's see. Yeah, and and and, and this one is. Uh, did you say that magical damage? Does it do do maybe magic one to weapons that are non that are magical as well? Because it didn't say. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. Um. Hmm. Let's see. What what do I have in my spell slots then? Okay, I have. <sighs> Just mark it. Thinking about it. Yeah, you know what? Um, uh, I'm. Yeah, I'll just mock it. Uh, I'll just mock it. Yeah, you. Go away, slimy thing. You slime thing. You. Uh, wisdom save sixteen. It's almost laughable. <laughs> Ooh. Take four emotional it has advantage. damage. <laughs> it has this one. Even at advantage, it's 18. Uh. Wow. Minus, <laughs> is it? Minus, it? Two, oh, minus two, Mr. Two. <laughs> uh, so it takes four emotional damage and uh, has disadvantage on the first attack. attack. Yeah, next yep. attack. And uh, I will. Let's see. I will move away for a bit. Yeah, I'll move here. Here, next to Morp. And end the turn. Okay, as <clears throat> you will end the turn. This character reappeared and started throwing darts at the Black Pudding. Throwing darts? Throwing darts, yes. Ooh, that's with poison. <clears throat> so yes, it's throwing darts at the pub. And and then as as stealthy as he came. He seems to be disappeared. Maybe he jumped into the room. Okay, Kenneth, your turn. <clears throat> what do you do? Same target. Oh. oh no. 
Alright. Not again. <laughs> <laughs> String break. String break. Oh no. Again. <laughs> 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 it's okay, okay yes, I give you the heavy crossbow. You have a heavy crossbow. <laughs> you have to wait for your action to do it. He almost got every weapon that similar. Yeah, he has lots of weapons and he broke every weapon that he has. <laughs> maintenance guys, maintenance. <laughs> so anything else that you, you have at your arsenal? You have a heavy crossbow. Yeah, you can still attack one more time. And crossbow, 21, 5 piercing. Nice. Alright. It does hit this time. At this juncture, you saw the... the black pudding or the black tentacle oil slick is... Reducing in size. Yep. But whatever it touches there, the, it, it has a uh, corrosive and the wood started uh, corroding. So anything else, can this? Moving in. Moving in. Wait, what? Oh? Wow. Try to pull my trick out. Huh? Run to it and went inside it. Oh no. <laughs> Not this one. Alright. It's two by two. Uh. Yes. It's occupying ten feet of cube, right? It's yeah, ten feet, right? It's huge. Yep. Yeah, it's huge. Bear grills. Okay, I'm trying to move them. Should be Shoot a heavy crossbow. It's hard not to hit it. But can be seen, can be killed, boys. <clears throat> I got that. And suddenly something appeared. It sees its brethren. <laughs> is it for the intelligence saving throw, is it? So, uh, it, it's targeting Morbius. Okay. Seventeen, bitch. <laughs> Mind rig siphon. The vivite targets the creature that you can see. The attacker must take fourteen damage. Okay, take half damage. <laughs> All right. So, ah, uh, you take half right damage, right? Yeah. Half. Okay. So, eight d six. What? Oh, the birth average. Wow, what's that? 
8D6 uh, 30 15 is it? Yes, it's 15 uh, Minus my time hit point first I'm still good So, oh, Morbius It's your turn Revenge Blood for the Blood Lord uh, <clears throat> You shouldn't have done that And then I'll win Printing Right in front of him Took out both of my silver daggers And the first one will be lashing it, imbuing with uh, a, a, a force energy, casting booming blade. Okay, wait. Chokamate, let me roll for the attack first, and then I will roll the description. Twenty on the silver dagger for the booming blade. Wow. Ooh. Wow. That's big. Five piercing. So this is section and uh, so five piercing because it's just um, weak to silver, and then it cannot move. If it tries to move, it's gonna get another additional thunder damage. Move and as in attack or move as in uh, away. I think move. it's move. Move, move five feet. More than oh. five feet. Ah okay. One D eight thunder damage. Yep. And then it have to roll for this attack. Mm. It have to roll a wisdom save pro of fifteen or not be fighting maybe. Ah. Ah, he's scared. Ah, run away, run away. Ah, vampires are so scared tonight. <laughs> <laughs> you are the worst. You are worst looking vampire than them. <laughs> And then, uh, for the bonus action, I will make an offhand swing with my other silver dagger. Ooh. Oh, oh me. no, it's a net one. Then it would. Yes, you want to attack a vampire, then? No normal damage and half it. Okay. You say because you are vampire. I I just roll uh the the silver dagger gem. Okay. And then I'll see if it uh, and I the damage I will take. Seventeen. Uh five. Five. Half uh three lah. Three. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Are you trying to commit seppuku? <laughs> oh. My my bre- my brethren. Are you trying to do sudoku? Lemos. <laughs> 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 and then at that it is I'll end the turn there. All right. Chen. Ooh, why then? Yeah. Ah, Chen. Yeah. Say something. Uh, oh, somebody say something. Ah, uh, that's right. Did somebody say something? Yeah, I don't know. Right. By the way, yeah. yeah. Since it's frightened to me, it cannot attack me. It's uh, running away, right? It has to run away from you first before attacking. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it, it's not moving. <laughs> it's not moving. <laughs> well, it moves, lah. <laughs> Alright, Chen. Okay, off far. Hit. Hmm. Chen. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I thought you your mic something. <laughs> okay. 
Chen, okay, this is how Chen gonna use his action fire across a longbow. Alright, longbow. Nine, targeting this, I guess. Yup. Yep, it's very hard to miss. Okay, that's it. Anything else, Chen? As a nurse action. Uh, am I Chen EOT? Alright. So, um, the, the person that is holding a hammer, just is fire so big. We should we should get out of here. And he's, he started. Solomon says. Okay, Solomon's then. You heard the man. This fire is out of control. We need to move. And before uh, he he went out, he started. I'll do this before I get out. And heavy crossbow. Thirteen nine piercing. And with that, you get a smoky. The ooze. What? Stop moving. God damn. It's lying motionless. God damn it. In the file pill, it's a a black pool of acidic ichor. Iker, yeah. Emil, it's your turn. Moreno time. I shall move. One, two, three. Uh, being very careful of the acid in front of me. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, I just crashed, so uh, <laughs> uh, I move one, two, three, and I try to move to the next hostile, carefully avoiding the acid. Okay. And uh, can I get into melee with the the next hostile? Uh, I don't think you have enough turn order, enough movement there. But I think you can see it from that view. Uh, half. Quarter or quarter? Yeah, you can, you can see it. Yep. So oh, I can see do? the thing. Uh. I yes. see the thing. Uh, is it? Is it? Is it? Uh, a lot of people in close close combat with the the melee hostile. Well, well you you saw two fanged <laughs> two fang creatures. Uh, just showing their fangs at each other. <laughs> oh. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Question: uh, Does Camille <laughs> know how Morb's form of dread looks like? Yes, he he used it in the farm before. We all saw it. All right. Uh, okay. okay. All right. Just asking. Uh, it, it, it's like a vampire who's showing which fang is more well kept. Ah, hmm. uh, okay. <laughs> so um, since they are in melee, um. Can I can I verify you just one guy? Can no yes yes you you can aim it at one. I verify you one guy. I I sing uh, I sing like, ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for Ugly Fang. Which one? <laughs> All right. Uh, DC 15 deck save for the vampire. Deck save, alright, coming up. The vampire. See whether he's. 
Oh, net 20. He elegantly sidestep your spell. <laughs> As a bonus, I shall mark coit UT. Alright. Roll for it. No, not really roll. Um, yeah, just wisdom, if I'm not mistaken. Hmm? What? Mockery, is it? Yep. Nah. That's an action. I just mock him normally. Mark coit tam Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, call. Good lord, I can't see anything. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, and six. I'll be here, I guess. Okay, I can fit two of us, right? Yep. Can't do anything, though. That's the thing. Uh, I will send healing good vibes to myself, huh? Yeah, and, and my turn. Right. Oh, wait, sorry, wait. Wait, action. I already action. Uh, mm -hmm. Eldritch Blast. Yeah, and my turn. Oh, oh wait, GM, can, can you help me remove the Speed Spirit and the Archon? They're in this room. Because they're supposed to be disappear after I. Oh, okay, uh, sure, sure, sure. There we go. Alright, and my turn. Alright, Leona. Hmm. You're there, you're in front of two vampire looking creatures. Okay, let's see, let's see. Um, I will... Uh, let me see, let me see. Okay, I will... Hmm. I need to read something first. Oh, yes, that was for something. Give me a second, I just need to double check on the uh, sneak attack. You don't need advantage on the attack if another enemy of the target is within 5. Yeah, if Morbius is in melee, you get your sneak attack. Okay, cool. So, um, I will rush in and stab it with my uh, rapier. Alright. Okay, Ooh. 10 plus, I forgot to turn on that one. Uh, it was a 2d6. 6 plus 2 plus 3, so 13 total damage. You totally blindsided the vampire. And then, let's see, what else can I do? Alright, what else can you do? I will... How many steps was that? That's 25. I think here is... 14. E yes, um... I will... Um, pass him over and move into this room. And end the turn. Yes, turn has been ended. Alright. Ennis, it's your turn. Uh, can you see that? Yeah, I think so. He was. Yeah, he moving. Yeah. Oh, okay, he's moving. Reaction with crossbow EOT. All right. Bear grills started shouting over here. Lads, move it. <laughs> wait, the wait, fire wait. is the fire is spreading. 
Is he really by grills? <laughs> You'll never know. Oh, then he has to drink his piss, man. I do not think the ship can take it anymore. And he says, Hit had to leave you behind. I will be waiting for you upstairs. All right, you have this. <laughs> what the fuck just happened? All right, so. Vampire. Will attack. Nope, he has to can get he? away from... He, from uh, he can run, so he should run. Yep. What? He's frightened <laughs> of more... Yeah. Oh, how come? We are waiting for you. So he, he have to run. Ah. Run, run, run first, run. then if cannot run, then attack. Mm -hmm. Run! Boom! Ah! Boom. Okay, so, boom. boom. Roll. What was it again? Eight? Uh, 2d8? 1d8? There. <laughs> well done. Well, thunder. Sonic! Boom! Swing. So he's good. One. Yep. And... Bump into... Camille. And... Oh, hello! Try to strike him. Wait, wait, before, before you strike him, uh, yeah. I, will, I will Eldritch Blast him. Sorry, uh, wait. I think he needs to move a far away as possible from Morb. Oh, okay. Like, that's one of the that's... thing about being frightened. He needs to GTFO okay. further away as possible, if I'm not mistaken. Alright. Sure. And okay, now, so... any ready action things that happen, does happen. Eldritch Blast! Pew pew! Spugger. Op attack of opportunity. Yep. Whack. Can I take my attack of opportunity? Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. I, 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 <laughs> yeah. Everybody so jumpy into that. Yeah. <laughs> this. Oh, something wrong. Okay. At, okay. Uh, yeah. Attack of opportunity first. <laughs> I'll give the the holder of the the fright. Yeah, I think that miss. Uh, that miss. Okay. Miss. And immediately after that, uh, somebody's. Holding a grudge. <laughs> Eldritch Blast, I guess. Pew, yeah. pew. Got, got, got some buck here. So, first one is you need to plus four as well because I got the. Why well, the invocation? So, after I blow up, I did not. The thing reset itself, so I need to roll. Really? Back. Now, that's annoying. Yeah, this happens a lot of times. But anyway, this, so it will be four plus. Uh, so, it's five. five. Next one will be seven plus four, so 11. Uh. So, it's five and 11. 16. Alright, so that, that anything else, triggers? No, I, 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 uh, I, I told you before that I will be shooting it to another, another feet. Uh, so he, he no longer gets bounced away. Okay, okay. Oh. So, Kenneth, you have a reaction? Yep, uh, a crossbow if I'm not mistaken. Oh. Uh. <laughs> I want a piece of it. <laughs> <laughs> no, one only, right? Reaction? Yeah, one only. Yeah, okay, so... so it, it, Alright, so anybody else? I think Camille yeah. wanted to do an attack? Wait, no, uh, huh. he's within range, right? He is within range. Okay. How does a no, uh, reaction to attack opportunity for Camille? Nah, that doesn't work. Yeah, he needs to no. get away. Yep. No, but yeah, but he's not, not yet because he just come to Camille. So he, if he move into the next room, then Camille will trigger. Yeah. Then Camille can slash him with his dagger, poison dagger. Hmm. All right. So, mm. uh, all has triggered, right? Yep. yep. So uh, the yeah. vampire is that scared of the other vampire, <laughs> <laughs> a greater vampire. Wow. <laughs> he moved away and stepped into a hailstorm of attacks, arrows, bows, blasts, spells. <laughs> it's as if it's raining. To you, <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> okay. Then <laughs> he goes into his unarmed strike for 22. Yeah, but nah, yeah. hey. at Camille, 
Damage 7. I take it like a man. Alright, 7 damage, okay. Uh, DC 13. For grapple. Grapple. Strength. Strength. Yes. Oh no. Let me hug you. <laughs> this is the thing. Just nice. 14. <laughs> oh, just just about enough to break free. I want to break free. Okay. okay. We'll do another attack. No, oh, bye. No. Sucks to be you. But it's not a vampire bite, is it? It's just bite. No more bite. Uh, or again, okay. It's, it's a vampire bite. Ooh. I don't like I, I don't like to be bitten. Uh, I don't want to be bitten by uh, ugly vampire Makoita. <laughs> Missed, is it? <laughs> Wait, Cutting, words. <laughs> Cutting words. Oh, yes. So how 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 much? A D eight. For him, uh, I roll I roll one also miss a D. Oh okay so. Uh, like yeah, that. your AC is higher now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the bite misses. It misses you. Your emotion. And, and, and that's it. You abuse him emotionally. <laughs> oh no. All right, Morbius. Morbius. Who say you can run away from me? God damn it! <laughs> oh, strike with moving blade. <laughs> Move it in closer to him again, and then team with team, moving blade and silver on fan. Oh. It is for the booming blade. Five damage. Up your thing. Up your thing. And, and it have to hit it uh, strike by the booming blade, and it has to make another wisdom saving throw. DC fifteen. Yeah. Or not be fight ten of me again. I think it should I... run away to Chen Chen so he can get bitten. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that one. <laughs> Booming fear combo. And then uh offhand silver dagger. Net twenty. So the damage will be five, the six, five seven, plus nine. three. Five so plus nine. three uh half say no. I need to subtract something. Sorry, no, uh it's basically two. Uh two plus three. Uh, yeah, yeah. Two, two plus yeah, two. Uh. Yeah, because uh, it's uh two plus two plus one. So uh, hmm? no. okay. Uh, basically, I cannot add my modifier for the offhand uh. for the deck modifier. So it's two plus one plus three. Two plus one plus three. Okay. Uh, minus my dexterity modifier. Ah, uh, okay. So three plus three lah. Six. Six. Just sing silver, minus. Okay, do it. Call it. Ah. As uh, the first strike hits him and he got jolted by the thundery boom, and then another strike from out of below swing, chuck, chucking right beneath its uh, jaw through his head, to his skull. Boom! Shakalaka. And that another vampire down. What? Oh, vampires today. Yep. A vampire killing a vampire. <laughs> I'm not a vampire. I know. I know. <laughs> 
your uh, mobbing time. Alright. So, so with that... Let me clear this up. Clear the... Alright. Okay, and then the... Alright. So... Yeah. As soon as you... Okay, uh, things have that... You, you hear something hissing. Uh, fuck. Everybody hears it? Yes, everybody hears it. Ten, ten, water walk now. Ten, ten. And you, the flames started disappearing, and steam started rising, and oh, that's yeah, not, thinking. That's good and not that good and bad. Um, I'm going to search the body. Uh, yeah, I'm yeah. gonna look at the mind drinker vampire Fuck. one and try to uh, investigate it. Yeah, I'm going to ascertain the the book that I saw. Why is everybody, everybody is, wow, really everybody is re- reacting at the same time? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> rushing water. You don't God, think I'm going to look at this fucking black pudding? Jeff, with the help of alcohol. Okay, okay, fine. Fine. Yeah, it's looting time, man. Let 20 gem on Vampire 1. Okay, Vampire 1. Okay, let me see this. Let me see this. Okay. Well, that, it's having, it's having, it, it does have a bag on this person. Have a bag? It's yeah. Bag or pouch? Full on bag? Yeah, it's a bag. Okay, I'll take it first. And okay. can I find what, what is the book that he's previously holding? I saw when uh, me and Leona went in. Yes. The title of the book? And it's in Wonderland. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right. Anywho, um, I I fail to see shit on this vampire. Let me try and investigate the board, uh, the vampire. Uh, better. Okay. So, Pat, Pat Brown body first time didn't see shit. <laughs> Search pockets. What do I see? Or what do I get? You. It does have a ring in his pocket. What does it? What does it have in his pockets? It's a ring. ring. Take it, take it, take it. All right. Anything else? Well, of course, there's a pouch. Take it, take it, take it. Okay. That's <laughs> just okay. Fine. Ah, oh, really? Everybody's uh, Reacting to uh, the water rushing into the the hole, the cargo hole of the ships. Okay, and then ah, um, water rushing in. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh Jeff. So good. How about, how about the black pudding? Did you find anything on the black pudding? I okay. So. Let's see. Mm-hmm. An investigation of twenty. Not that, but still twenty. Yeah. By the way, GM, before you uh say anything about the black pudding, just a question. Yes. Is the corrosive nature of the black pudding still active? Yes, it does. So, whatever does Carl, if that's Carl touches it, wouldn't it hurt him? Just asking. Yes, it does. He would, but he's not that dumb. He has a spear. Just, just asking, uh, just, just to make sure. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm just is... waiting. I'm just waiting for him to start touching. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I, I, I have a spear, and my archon can fly. So. Each of that is still there. Okay, so they, you nothing much can be gleaned from the black pudding because it melts almost everything that it touches. Mm. Uh-huh. But, but then again, your spear as it it dissolved and and started to dissolve into that hit something solid inside oh, the, the, the the mass. So as the, the the spheres shaft started getting shorter, you you try to move whatever that is touching uh, away from the center of the corrosive mass, and you manage to reveal something solid. What the, the solid thing is? What's it? It, it seems to be a stone. 
stone. Yeah, it's a stone. Okay, grab that. Yeah, it, it's still covered with all the uh, the black uh, oily stuff and everything. But take a water, clean it, clean it with water. So, this, this. Okay. So, anything else that you are doing? Uh, there, there's something else, right? That, that can be found, can be prodded from the. Uh, so far, nothing that you can see other than the bubbling. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Yeah, and also I have a 10-foot pole, so I can use that in terms of... The, 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 the sphere it. now is... The, the sphere is now only about 3 feet long. Hmm... <laughs> ah, oh well, that's fine. I can get a new one anyway. <laughs> uh, I think with that, uh, yeah, let's go Let's go to the next room, I guess, where the vampire came from. Ah, shoot. So about the body sort of vampire, should we carry it along as evidence? I'll can hear you. Yeah, well, I guess might as well. You, you guys want you guys want to do that? Okay, yeah, okay, okay, okay. Can I fit them in? Yeah, I'm about, about to suggest that. Why don't you just throw it in your chuck it in the bag? <laughs> chuck it in the bag. Well, it's not it. a bag, it's a pouch. <laughs> it's a, it's a... But, but can it fit, Jem? The problem is, can it fit? Can it fit into a pouch? <laughs> the, the, hand, the hand can fit. Yeah, it's like, mm, probably not a good idea. Yeah, but I don't think it can fit. Uh, you guys you guys have already checked the body, right? Yeah, uh, yeah but I'm, I'm thinking if uh, those assholes that ran away um, came out first and then took credit for what we did, uh, that's not good for us. So we we need some proof that we were the one that did the job. Also, um, I, I guess the church or someone could take a look, see at the body, and explain to us what the hell happened here. Yeah, well, just in case, can you, you carry a, you carry one of the bodies. Uh, I'm gonna chop off his head and put it in the back in my pouch or hoodie. Yeah, my question. Yes. Uh, what is the current? Water level of the ship. Well, you know, it's rushing out from the the cabin. The door is almost uh, gone already because of the fire. Now you can see the the water is rushing um, quite heavily. All right, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna roll for perception just to glance through the library to see whether there's. Some titles of interest for hmm. the books that might be in here. Okay. While he do that, I'm gonna. Is this part of the room or is it just for decoration? That is part of the the room. It seems to be like a, a mess hall or something. Okay, I will investigate the. Pockets and whatnot. Yeah, small. <laughs> Any title of interest that I might catch as yes. I glance through? Mm, let's see. Titles, titles, titles of the book. Call of Cthulhu. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there is something called. Uh, there is a page that, that seems to be open uh, on top of the bookshelf. There's uh, it begins with this words. Long, long time ago, in the galaxy far, far away. <laughs> 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 Sorry, I can't Okay. Um... See. <laughs> That's interesting. Alright. Interesting. Okay. One is... Ah, that's interesting. No. Let me roll. All right. There's one t- book that seems to bear the title Cry of Winter. Oh. Cry of Winter. Do we have Game of Thrones? 
I'll I just take it for now. Yeah, while what, 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 what they're all, all doing that, you can see me uh, hacking the head of the vampire, uh, commanding Nis and also Chen Chen, hopefully, wait, wait. to, to wrap, 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 wrap the vampire in uh, in a, any big shit they can find, and bring them out here. Get the body out. Okay. Can I put, can I put the head inside the pouch? So you put and, the head inside the pot, okay? Yep, and then let's get out of here, man. Because this is vampire, it's gonna dissolve into nothing if we get exposed to the sun. So just wrap it a bit, blanket or whatnot. It, this room has a lot of it. Uh, we can wait for the boat to sink and wash it to shore. If it does. Yeah. yeah. And I think with that, let's, let's get out of here, man. Let's get out of here, guys. I'm, I'm looking at the food on the table. Yes. Quality of food? Uh, totally rotten. Seems to be there for very long time. I see. Alright. Not fresh. Okay. So, yeah. Um, if there's nothing else, let's get out of here. So, you are getting out of there? Yes. Uh, what's the urgency level right now? Well, water is rushing in, and your assessment, uh, pretty soon, the the water will start uh, flooding and deter your escape path. I see. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Um, okay. Is everybody out? Okay. Is everybody out? I assume Kenis will, will, will do this, but I think Kenis is out right now because he didn't reply. And JJ as well. So we, we just assume the body, we, we manage to take out the body and wrap it around and we get out of here. Alright. The My Drinker Vampire number two. Okay. Yeah. My Drinker Vampire number two. Uh, so my, my Drinker Vampire number one has said chop off. <clears throat> I can add another one to my alcohol alcohol jar collection. God damn it. Um, investigating. You need a bigger jar. Yeah. Uh, uh, investigating the barrels. GM. Yeah. You are investigating the barrels. Mm -hmm. Are you sure? Oh God. Bye, Leona. <laughs> uh, shoot. Sure, not sure. Ah, uh, fuck it. I'm sure you'll find some relic over there. Is there anything? Okay, you know what? Um, do this. Ah, fuck my perception. Too panicky. Ah, fuck, fuck, fuck. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's, let's go, go. Uh, you, you, you go ahead first. What are you doing, Mob? Bye, Mob. It was nice knowing you. You guys go ahead first. Uh, Jeb, can I? Uh, the freshness of all the food in here. Rotten. Alright. Uh, it seems to be wilted and have been seems to be left there for a very long time. Anything of use? Uh, none that you can detect. Alright. Obvious, you forgot. We, we looked at this place before, did Yeah, uh, yeah. And Morbius, something, something stands out from, uh, the food, the food, crates. Uh, in the middle. Yeah, I'll take a look, see what is it, and then I'll just uh usher Leona to get out of here first. Don't worry about me. All right, I'll be out here just in case. Back up and whatnot. What can I find, GM? You found a carved bone statuette of an armored figure. What? Yeah, I already, already took that statuette. It's with Carl, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I already, already took it in the pouch. I see, okay. Good, good. So, here, you found something that most of your colleagues have missed out. Oh, that's that's that. Nat 20. Four. 
It is a new car. Huh. <laughs> Daddy, hello. Vopper sword. Do, 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 do. <laughs> That's interesting. Doing all this. <laughs> ah, that's funny. Really, though, you guys can just go ahead first. Don't wait well, we for can... to sink. I have no problem if the ship sinks. Oh, yeah, you don't breathe. <laughs> it's a rod. It's, a, it's, a, it's like a metal rod. Oh. 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 Take it for now, Jim. Sure. Well, the rest is escaping to the upper decks. <coughs> oh, that was too close. What is the ship's um speed, GM? Uh, Chen Chen, the rod is... Well, <clears throat> you are not there to see it. <laughs> Bloody hell. I almost fell for for that trick. Mm. No. Oh, no, it's the metal part. So, uh, GM, how... It's how... about 5 inches. Giggity. <laughs> it just cut it short. <laughs> that you know of. <laughs> Right. But anyway, uh, Jim, how's the speed? Uh, the speed of the ship is it uh, slowing down uh, immensely, it or is it? It has slowed down immensely, as if it is adrift, and it's just uh, going where the tide is taking it. As before, it was a bit like uh, driven forward. Now it seems to have just been listless. Okay, so basically the tide, and if it does hit the bridge, no huge damage will happen, right? GM? Yeah. It has uh, it has a bit moving sideways now. Instead of moving forward, now it's moving sideways. Mm, okay, 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 okay. okay. And he he has started to tilt a bit. Tilt. Okay, so basically my sink. Alright guys, let's get out of here now. So this the whole team, the other team is has gone into the boat. That's me. What? What? Hello? Somebody say something? Where's Mop? Where's Mop? Mop playing with a rod. Diggity. The water is still not that bad, right, Jim? Uh, actually, it is bad. Okay. It, it, it started to feel... Does it obscure my pathway to the upper deck? No, it it does not. And then I will just walk casually upstairs. How, la 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 la. Jim, how high is the water from uh, <laughs> from uh, the knee what? from from the floor to the whatever it is? Like how high is it? Does it reach to the knee? Um. Okay. Uh. You do not see the water from the upper deck, but you can hear water seems to be the the rush of water is very prevalent from downstairs. Ah, can I, come on, guys, let's head out here. Let's... Mm, thinking, thinking. Should we? Should we? Should we? Should we? Should we? Should we, should we, should we mm. Alright, um, I'm going to... Is the anchor tied to the rope? No. Uh, no, it's not. Okay, I'm going to do it. Tie... But 
rope to anchor now. Alright. Any checks that you need to do or just do it? You yeah, can just do it. Alright, just do it. Tie rope to one of the masts. Masts. Okay. Yeah. Then drop anchor. Are you strong enough though? Leo, Leona? What? Are you strong enough though? I was just about to do it to ask for a strength check. Let's do it! Yeah, but, but while she's doing that, I'm, I'm going to go inside the boat first. <laughs> I don't want to do that. Yeah! <laughs> uh, <laughs> you managed to move it, uh, but then again, trying to go it over the, the side rail, uh, you you feel that you should have worked out more. <gasps> Can you help me? Drop the anchor. Uh, at least it'll slow down the ship just in case it doesn't um, slow down the sh ship in case the ship doesn't stop on time. At least yeah, this will but, slow but, it down. While they're doing that, right, I asked I both asked the ship to move away. <laughs> away so that anchor doesn't hit the ship. Okay. Okay, so uh, Move it away, move it, move it now. Alright, uh, okay, that's done. Alright, let's get, let's get. And it's, uh, uh, press on the strike. With advantage, because I'm helping. <laughs> this, is a, uh, this is the way. <laughs> <sighs> and with that, the, the anchor is, bloop, with a splash, went downstairs, the, the, <laughs> okay. The rope, goes with it mm -hmm. and then you can almost feel like the rope is being sucked into something being sucked into something just the water uh, on, on the side of the boat you suspect it is the vacuum created by the water rushing in ah, <laughs> from yes. the side of the boat <laughs> still anchors down shouldn't All be right. a problem anyway okay. let's go so everybody is going to the ship to the boat yep. you guys just Gonna jump down or what? <laughs> I will walk uh, casually <laughs> on the side of the big boat on the ship and then hop onto the boat. Okay. okay. <laughs> That's a, uh, everybody's <laughs> okay. This is the scenario. The the boatman is uh, desperately trying to steady the boat while everyone's jumping into the boat. <laughs> and then the the scholar is just like. Amateurs, and then he walks casually on the, the side of the the boat. GM, how's the yes. boat floating? Like how 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 good is it floating now? Uh, with people jumping from the the ship that's higher onto the boat, and people are g <laughs> giving weight into the boat. Uh, it's dangerously tilting to overturn. <laughs> Okay, I I'm just noting because we have a seven sword Gundam on the ship right now. Or on the boat right now. <laughs> okay. It's not Gundam. Okay. Uh I'm assume that we're moving away from the ship. Yep. Yes. Let's go to shore. As we are moving away bit bit away, I'll just Fire a few blasts of Eldritch Blast towards the side of the ship to make sure that uh, it sinks much more faster. Let me roll this. Several, eh? Yeah, several. Pew pew pew. Pew pew pew. Alright. One of the blasts uh, managed to do a bit of damage to the boat, the side of the, the ship. Okay. All right. And it's just there, uh, listlessly floating. And you know, it it is almost come to a complete stop. Whew. That's good. I shake my head like, ah. This is not how we use Eldritch Bus. <laughs> Fine. Yes, can, 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 can I try and roll as well? 
Huh? What? Then I tried to roll my own Eldritch Blast. Ah, uh, sure. <laughs> I said, say, I say, this is how you roll Eldritch Blast. That one. By <laughs> <laughs> the hundred, ah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Oi. Why is it the hundred? Why so high? <laughs> okay, anyway. <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> so whatever the thing is, the shape ha- seems to have stopped. Where yeah. it's there. So the whole you you when you glance at the the shores, you notice a huge crowd has gathered and watching you blasting Eldritch Blast onto the ship. Just to make sure. Uh, uh, that was something. So as we and you are lugging a a body that's mm. covered, <laughs> covered body. Mm-hmm. So guys, who do we see first? Uh, let's go to report to the Basho, I guess. Yeah, I mean he he's in charge now until Universal um, up and Adams. You can go to the drill fields at the arena or some sort. Drill field, yeah. 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 I mean, I assume that is where the station. We can report there. Yeah. Yeah. Let's head out. Let's head out. As we walk, I will continue on reading the manual. <laughs> I need a few more days. Keep on reading, keep on reading. <laughs> so, um, you make your way back. You of the crowd, they they were just looking at the the scene. The Northern Queen is listing sideways now as more water rush into the the hole that is filling fast filling it. Assuming this part of the river is not that deep, so it will be sank and some part of the ship sails would be visible on the surface of the water. In your learned uh, judgment, it will be. All right. Most likely, the mass, at least the mass and parts of the sails will be visible. Kamil mm. <sighs> uh, is saying something. <laughs> that is what Camille trying to say. Uh, I think I think it's. Um... Ah, I'm. What am I saying? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you have to go to even with my invocation of I can read anything. I cannot read that. <laughs> I, I I guess it's <laughs> wait. It could it could be lyric to a song. It's like wake up, get another person, wake up. <laughs> But anywho, uh, let's be right. sure. Let's be sure. <laughs> Is there anyone to greet us on when we reach shore? You, when you reach the shore, uh, the boatman <coughs> says you have that, uh, and they, they get it. Ah, that's the Northern Queen, and and they're just looking at that. So, what what have you found? Seems like the rest of the adventurers are missing out on the the adventure that you have mm-hmm. of the the other four that that you have encountered. You don't see them anywhere. Really? Do we not? Well, might be. No, I don't think so. It's a huge crowd. Ah, there's a huge crowd uh, because you you took time to really Eldritch Blast and then you were lugging the 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 body. The other boat seems to be to have reached the shore earlier than you. But they couldn't be that fast walking. Uh, it's just a huge crowd that that seems to block your view. They may be just a bit man- minutes away. Oh, they are trying to show boarding. It's okay. 
Uh, that's why we need evidence to show what we done and stuff. But anywho, um, most important part is ship is not going to crash to the bridge and Daggerfort is safe, economical wise. Um, Whatever is going on in there, shit still going on. We still need to solve that problem. Um, so now, uh, shall we hit in and meet up with the marshal? That would be the better judgment. Anyway, let's head off. <clears throat> so you will be heading off towards the drill field where the marshal is, unless he is in the caravan grounds. Yeah, I've got a question. What time is it right now? The call is missing. What time is it right now? Time now is late evening around. Uh, you estimate it has reached it has reached uh, sundown. Sundown, all right. Um, sundown. So as so, we head towards the drill field, uh, we'll, we as we pass the caravan grounds, we'll ask uh, the knights uh, where the marshal is at the same time. If he's uh, in our caravan grounds, we head towards him. If not, uh, and he's on the drill field or in the drill field, we we'll just head to the drill field. You, okay. You will do that. You will ask uh, where the thing are. But then again, your journey is a bit uh, slower because of the Body. cargo that you're carrying. Mm -hmm. Cool, cool. Uh, okay. So that is what your actions will be, right? Yeah. Yeah. So well, on the on our way at the crowd, I will be. Able we declare our Midnight Hunter's victory, taking down the uh, monsters that live about the ship. We don't that infested need, the ship. We, we don't need to do that, Carl. But, I don't think there are monsters, huh? which monsters, but just saying that. We, we, we can just go in quietly. Showboating is not doing, it's not going to do any good for us. Okay. The last time we did that, somebody died. I was intentional. <laughs> so wait, right, um, so... is there no carriage going to carry us towards the drill field? There should be, right? No, we will walk. No, I mean, yes. like, right now, because since we did job, one of the knights could have standby for us, no? Yeah. There are wagons, because everybody was rushing before. So there are wagons there that you can just uh, rent in order to carry whatever that you are carrying All right, um, to help I'll, you. I'll go up to one of the... Wait, um, are those private or military? They seems to be owned by... Not by the military because the guy that looks <coughs> a bit unkempt. All right, I'll go up to him. You there, sir. Uh, you need to procure your wagon to head to town. Well... Uh, what do you mean, procure my wagon? I mean, borrow. I mean, yeah, borrow the wagon. Borrow the wagon. How do you borrow a wagon? Well, the court will pay you for your troubles. Ooh. Ah, why do you say that earlier? Yes, yes. I operate a very, very reputable wagon renting business. Yes, yes. Um, uh, uh, we... my, my name is Hertz. Don't, don't talk to the others. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, hurts. Hurts. All right, hurts. Uh, we we need your services. Yes, hurts. <laughs> Rent the wagon. <laughs> yes. Um, guys, let's head on and let's head in. Ooh, what do you have there? Oh, you see, is that a body? It's evidence, and the less evidence. you know, the better. Evidence of a dead body. Like I mentioned before, the less you know, the better. Okay, well, well, to carry a dead body, you have to use this app. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Oh, man. <laughs> 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 yeah. And yeah, I guess with that, we hit on.
yeah, move yeah, faster. Yeah, yeah. yeah the, sun, the sun is setting anyway, so... Don't want to dilly-dally in the sundown, well... Mm. Alright, so... So you'll be going there, right? Uh, yes, yeah, I'm trying to, to use this this new... Whatever people call it, uh, app. See, it's about cashless transaction. <laughs> I don't mm. believe in that. <laughs> I see. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, cash is always good, always better. All right. Anyway, so off you go then. All right. Okay. So it you save time and effort and energy in using the the hertz ran a ran a wagon. Mm, yes, the the hertz services. <laughs> and you manage to spend. Well, less time moving there, so... So, do, do we see the... Oh, god damn it, they already arrived before us. Shit. And we even ride on a wagon to get there first. <laughs> uh, alrighty then. <clears throat> so, yep, we arrived. Woohoo! <sighs> well... That took us a short time. Hey guys, go ahead and click the report. I'll be here reading my book. Uh, okay, anything that we should tell him that you know? Or none? No, nothing much. You guys saw what, else, what we, I saw. Where is Camille? Ah, where is Camille? Yeah, I forgot to let that. Tu lah, asyik hilang je. I don't know my ah, screen oh, black. Go. All right, nah. Ah. You are there. All right. Yeah, you were not there last time. <laughs> All right, there we go. Anywho, um, Jim, so we arrived. Yes. What happened now? Well, you you arrive. Uh, people are listing, and the night marshal is um, looking at the new arrivals, and seems to notice you and Solomon, Solomon's group, that seems to have arrived almost at the same time. Almost at the same time. <laughs> All right. And you were lugging something heavy mm. that seems to attract his attention. And he moved towards you. Hello, Lord Marshal. And he, as he clanked and he rumbled like a tank <laughs> towards you. Pachang, 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 pachang. Look, look, look. And in his uh, deep voice, because you have, you know, he. He never opened his helmet. His helmet. Mm -hmm. What do you have there? Well, we have. It's it's a stretch to call it evidence, but probably evidence of things. Um, I would say we should open it somewhere private and not out in the open. Also, it's very sensitive to light. As you can see, the light. As in the sun has set. Mm. All right. Uh, but besides that, um, boat stop. It's sinking and won't be hitting the bridge, so that's good. Oh, I see. Well, there are, there are people who says that the danger has passed. So. Who shall take the credit? You? Or them? He points at Solomon. I lean into Carl. How do you want to play this? Well, it's us, of course. Marshall. Solomon arrived after we almost clear everything up. And we solved the mystery behind why the boat went missing. And they only pop up very late. I'm sure the boatsman can conquer. And he turned to Solomon. You, 
You there. Come here. And Solomon moved. And hey, he, bark, he barked at the guard. Get out of my way. <laughs> and, and Solomon came and, and says, Yes, Lord. And Lord Marshall just simply asked him, So, who is to claim credit for the deed? To which Solomon just simply shrugged his shoulders and Well, we cannot claim it. It's them. We just we arrived late because we had this straggler and he pointed at Camille <laughs> to keep insisting. Ah, oops. <laughs> to board our boat, even though we kept pushing him off the boat, he delayed us. <laughs> Well, but on on our honor, we did not uh, solve the mystery. It's all them. Well, Marshall, um, to to be fair, they did help us in taking out the monster. And credit is to us. Uh, credit. One is, of the monsters. One of the monsters. One of the powerful monsters that killed you, or took you out. Remember that. One of the. There were more, a lot more. Yes, but still, um, but like, credit with stuff. credit is due. They did help. Uh, Camille, can you roll a perception check, please? Okay. What happened? Ooh, 17. Oh. You notice uh, at least. Let's see, eh? Okay, one, two, okay. You notice two of. The four members of the Mercedes Mass group is looking and giving you a stink eye. <laughs> it's like, I'm, I have my eye on you. <laughs> but, I wing back. <laughs> <laughs> but anywho, Lord Marshall, um, it doesn't really matter uh, who should get the credit. It's just that the boat has stopped and Daggerford is safe. Now, what concerns me is the contents of the ship what have you found a few monsters in there and I lean, did. I lean closer and whispers to him vampires and as if there's a hiss from from the visor of his helmet what? vampires Hmm. And that thing you see behind us, as I point towards the rap figure, uh, uh, evidence. You 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 mean the rap figure of Morbius? No, <laughs> not that one. <laughs> the, the 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 other one that um kind of is carrying, I think. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, yes, I see that that rap figure. Mm. I thought that that other rap figure was the book. <laughs> but um, the, um, that's. Is it a mummy? <laughs> Oh, no, uh, but that's uh, evidence. Also, um, Carl here managed to decapitate one, so. Do. Hmm? So well, we have gruesome business. Mm -hmm. So we have a bit of things for you in to investigate. Other than that, pudding monsters and water elementals. That's about it. And dead shadows and brains. What did you find on that ship? So what is the cause for, for that runaway ship? What happened to the crew? It seems that... All that? Yeah, it, all that. And it seems that the ship has been away for a very, very long time. Their food supply seems to be rotted. And any food that they had there was decomposing or just rotten altogether. Uh, and while you know I was saying this, I passed him the ship manifest uh, that, mm. that I managed to broke. So, yeah, and it seems they picked, and this is caused by some stragglers they managed to pick up. And I passed to the marshal the book. We are unable to find the locks, but uh, we only managed to find the ship manifest. I'm sure if you send investigators to 
rummage around the ship once you excavate it, um, you, you'll probably find some things. Very well. Very well done. But you see vampires. And then there's also, what, a black pudding? It's and a water elemental? Yes. What is going on with that ship? Well, the water elemental seems to be the thing that moves the ship. For some reason. Mm. That seems and, there, and there seems to be like a black, some black acidic substance that you know looks around the ship as well. Uh, there were ghostly rays, shadows, etc., etc. Those those things populate the ship in every corner. Are you saying? Are you calling that a ghost ship? A ghost ship. I I guess that's I the could. proper. A word for it, yeah. I, I, sorry. I bet this. I guess that's the proper description for it. Yeah. Yes, and the uh, inhabitants, former inhabitants of the ship, were uh, all murdered gruesomely. We are not sure what what killed it, but um, there are some vampire marks on some of them, some of the bodies. Uh, yeah. Oh, you you said you found a coffin inside one of the rooms, right? Was it the storage room? Was it? Yeah, the storage room. I'm guessing it was the straggler that they said they picked up. Interesting. Mm -hmm. I am not that familiar with a water vessel being a soldier my my entire life. But I will ask Lord Lariver to point me to the right person to go over the manifests. Oh, how is he? Has he rec fully recovered? He's recovering, but still in a weak condition. Mm. But um, he's lucky to be alive. That, that is true, that is true. Alright, um, is there anything you need us to do, sir, before we head off? Well, one thing that... that the Duchess have tasked me to do this. Um, so, let me reaffirm that the, ta the credit to stopping the danger goes to you and your group. The Midnight Hunters, I presume? Yes. He, he spoke it loud enough for the other mercenary group to hear sir, and he looked at them. Sir, to be fair, um, both of us, uh, both groups did um, did the job, so both of us should get the credit. Well, I'm just trying to determine who shall get the reward of 3,000 gold piece. Talk to Carl about that one. <laughs> yeah, well... <clears throat> We can share a small portion, maybe like 10 to 10 of them with the uh, RDB. Sounds fair. 10% of 3,000. Since, since they did like, run away halfway during the fight and did very final. You don't mind sharing 10% the uh, reward? You, you call, spoke that loud enough for everybody to hear. And. Carl, can. Uh, Carl. And Leona, can you roll a perception check? Sure. <laughs> ah, yeah! Someone's oh, getting salty. Someone's getting salty. <laughs> so, Carl, can you roll a perception check? Carl? Yeah, you uh, need to eat Nope. <laughs> okay. You are so intent telling your side of the story or your version of the story. And Leona noticed uh, them looking very, very annoyed. <laughs> Someone's your getting group. salty. Someone's getting salty. <laughs> I, I, I would share more, but you, they, they ran away without handling whatever was it yeah, in we, we, we don't have to tell that part of the story. I mean, yeah, Solomon they, they just they stepped they forward. Um, we do not need any pity reward. 
That's that's not pity. It's just sharing. We shall sharing uh, we shall leave you to your business. Maybe see you later. Mm. And with that, boys, I think our time, our welcome, has been used up here. <laughs> and we, and then he turns and gave all of you a smile before he left, and the rest of the group followed him. <sighs> And this person, the last one, just seems to be unmoving. For Leona, reminds he reminds you of Morbius hmm. for some reason. Don't know why. Morbius' then, sister. He just left hmm. and then disappeared. Well, I guess that's that then. Um, sure. So, I believe the reward <laughs> that was posted for that Herculean task is well deserved. We will have better with that. I will back to Chen Chen. That's like, uh, we got this. Chen is la. Mm. Oh, Chen is. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Yeah. yeah. Chris and Chen is. It's okay. We got this. Mm. I mean, they don't share any goal, so might as well split between, between us. Mm-hmm. We graciously accept. Thank you, Lord. Very well done. I assume that you will want to rest and recover from your ordeals? Yes, and also we need to hand you over this body for investigation and just to see what the hell happened to him. Yeah, Marshall, uh... We'll we'll see you again later on after we had a good rest. Man, yeah, some, want yeah, to talk. take care of that that evidence. Keep it stored. Keep it safe. Keep it. Away from the sunlight. No. Oh. Uh, GM, how yes. does D and D vampire works? Do they when they get hit sunlight? Do they burst into flames no. and perish? I don't think so. They only got uh, disadvantage on attacks yeah. and whatnot. That's that's what I know uh, as a player, but I, I just confirming the lore for this universe. This universe, okay, all right. So, uh, as far as you know, for as far as you know, it it doesn't burst into dust or uh, something. Uh, yeah. So, if tries to move or gets alive, put sunlight on it. Well, okay. <laughs> so the two the two men will take that, that bundle of joy from you? <laughs> yes. And take it away from <laughs> us. You. Okay. Uh, is oh. Carl still carrying the decapitated head? Yeah, I, I, I pass it to the master as well. <laughs> okay. I thought you were going to. Yeah, to I thought you were going to keep it. <laughs> yeah, keep it. And then I the, wanted the to, but, but I was like, hmm. I need to find a big jar big enough to store it. Slider yeah. probably has them. Remember, you, you carried a decapitated head once upon a time? You were actually. That, that is not him. That is Shadow. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I carry a decapitated ear. Mm. <laughs> yes, it's still there. Part of an ear, actually, but yes. Oh, boy. Okay. Uh, where would we are in, in alcohol? Uh, no, it, it, it's not where would we are. If I'm not mistaken, it transformed back into a human ear. Yeah. You know, it was still a werewolf. Where, well, last we saw it. Yeah, but... Um, it is transformed back to a human. Yeah. No. Well, GM didn't say that yet. Yeah, did it transform it to a human? Or is it, it is, still... It is human. It's just a bit uh, hair here and there. Hmm. Hair here and there, right? Yeah. yeah. It's just part of an ear. Hmm. Yeah. Right. Mm. But anyhow, good day to you, sir. Uh, guys, let's get some rest. Yeah, let's head to the inn. Marshall, we'll, we'll meet you up later for for some discussion. And we'll be back. Very well. So, you are going to the inn? Yep. Mm. Let's go to the inn and let's, and let's identify. A lot of things need to be identified. Yeah. <clears throat> so, we head to the inn and then rest up for a bit. 
and identify stuff. Yeah, identify I stuff. Yeah, yeah. Are you sharing sharing the loot that you got from the vampires and the uh, elemental? Uh, I'll share. Okay, I'll the, be at the end. Uh, I'll share the uh, circlet and this ring I have. That's about it. And yeah, that's that's about it. But not the pouch, right? The pouch. I'm just guessing gold. That is not the pouch. Uh, it's a bag. No, I... Uh, from the oh, you got the pouch, right? Yeah. Okay. As for me, I will hand over to Camille to identify. There is a rod, a metal rod, <laughs> and there is a bag. Oh God. Yeah, yeah. Is it is it five five inch rod? Yeah. It can be whatever you want, my friend. <laughs> okay, so uh, all of you are heading towards the, the inn. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, you are at the inn. Okay, mm-hmm. cool. So you are at the inn. Let's see, Lionel greeted you, and then oh, 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 wow. Hello, Lionel. Well, we feel like shit, and we just want to rest up for a bit. Well, Talk to you, you later. look like you. Well, you do look like that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I will not bother you. I think it's. Kinda of late at night now. Oh, late night. Oh, give me a second. Need to entertain my people. And I'll before that. Um, before I go, I just give Carl the uh circlet ring, and yeah, just circlet and the ring, and I'll hit out and perform. Okay. Uh, I was. Uh, we will start the identification process. Uh, and also, wait. I think second. Let me check first. I need to check with Camille. Camille had something else. Oh, we, oh yeah, Camille had one pouch. Right. So. Morbius. Okay. I've given all the thing that I found. The rod and the bag. The pouch, right? You got a pouch. A bag. It's not a pouch. It's a bag. It's a bag. Eh? It's a bag. Suddenly identified as bag of holding and immovable rod. Oh, that'd be good. Immovable rod is good, man. Can do a lot of things with it. Mm-hmm. You know, ship, ship, ship cannot. Ship is trying to ram, put an immovable rod in, in front of it. <laughs> the ship got destroyed. <laughs> All right. So, well, what else? Uh, Lena will be performing as, uh, doing a performance. This uh, is the rest? really like Yeah, it's about 9 I uh, will continue reading the manual You'll, okay. you'll, you'll keep on reading there, there, There's nothing else you want to do Yep keep uh, on reading. I'll check on the Winter something book For a moment Before I'll start reading the uh, the, the manual Sure uh, Okay, so I, I'm going to identify with Camille Okay. Uh, what? One at a time. Let's see. Hmm. All right. So. Okay. Let's start with the. Uh, shall we start, Jam? Yes. Sure. The first one is the two matching golden gold bracelet. Identical. Identify two matching gold bracelets. Seems to be a normal bracelets. Ah, uh, money. Normal. One statue. Do we know what statue it is? The statue that you found in the trip. It's just an ornamental statue. Money. No, uh, it's either that or there's something with the statue. Something foul. The it's not magical, Jeff. Doesn't seem to. Okay. Is it made of gold? Yes, it does. Gold. Money. Well, that's good. Uh, and then one tiara that the owner share with us. Tiara as in a circlet. Yes. Yeah, the circlet. Sorry. So when Leona shared with all of you, Let's see. Yep, it's a circle. It looks like that. 
It's it's Mama. It's not. Then this the Rivendell circuit. <laughs> it's a. Uh, are you identifying it? Yes. Yeah, I'm identifying. It. It's a circuit of disguise self. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. nice. Oh, that's very nice, man. So, from your identification process, it seems to have three charges. Oh, is it? It does it like? Does it recover every day, or is it only three charges? Well, you manage to only. Discover that it is a has three charges of this guy's self. I think huh. you need you need to enchant back the spell. Artifacer, need to find an artifacer. Mm. All right. Anything else? So circle of strength of has three charges for very you can spend one charge to cast the guy's self. Oh, that's nice. Uh, wait, Jeff. Give me a second, okay. Uh. okay. I mean, I need to copy this effect for our for our loot uh, record. Can you can you look back in our compendium? All of it is listed. Yeah, I I just put it in Excel file just in case it's easier for those look look back at this one. Uh, another one is the Jeff. Yeah, this is the happy the the meet the aqua happy. Okay, so are you going to? Identify it. Yeah, I can identify it. So and, Camille and tell, will be doing the ident- identification. Yeah, and tell Camille like this. This is important. Somehow, my this is happening from all my friends. I don't know why it ends up here. Can you help me check on this happening? Ah, identify what? Uh, happen. Ooh, okay. Yeah, and Jack, can, can, can you show Camille? Can you show Camille the the happening? Okay, as you wish. Oh, this one. <laughs> okay. Identify, identify. For some reason, your the process of identification is a bit more complicated. Is it took a bit longer for you to really understand what that thing is? But this thing is a bit. Funny yet feminine happen. And it took triple the time for you to identify as compared to others. Control water. Happen of control water. This have three charges as a bonus section. You can expand one charge if you form a nearby source of water at a time. One creature you can see the oh boy oh no that's not good what happened to me to summer huh wow the axis just has crumbled oh no hmm Mizu summer okay. now has to work in the brothel something's wrong like my dojin showed me <laughs> Yeah, I'll 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 I'll, I'll think back the happy night. Yeah. Yeah, let's go. Let's move on to the the final information that Camille managed to reveal is a very rare item. Oh mm. wow, mythic, mythic rare. No, it's rare. Only rare. Item of wondrous, very rare. Wondrous item rare. Hmm, it's very rare. It smells like its owner. What? How? How would? You... I I I I pet I pet Camille. I like, you don't want to go there, my friend. Trust me. It's a happy, you know. Of course, it smells. Hmm. The owner is very troublesome. <laughs> the <coughs> the you two want to... the the two smaller uh spheres seems to be attached strongly to the the bigger sphere. It, it seems almost like a covalent bond. Mm. <laughs> uh, all right, all right, all right. What about okay. the 
what 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 else are they? You want to see again? There's a ring and ring and there's a ring, there's a battle rod, and okay. there's a bag. Let's, let's let's go to the next one. Next one is a breast mark with inlay. Cam, is is it a normal breast mark or a magical breast mark? Well, it's a very intricate looking breast mark. The jade seems to be a very old jade. It doesn't seem to be magical. But in your learned eyes, uh, it can be quite valuable. Ooh, thanks. Anything else? Wait, wait, two seconds. Let me update it. Uh, next one will be one gold locket. A gold locket. Uh, it seems to used to be holding a picture, but. So far, the picture seems to have been missing. It's a heart shaped locket. Okay, not magical, right? Doesn't seem to be. Okay, the next one will be a, a circle. Another circle. Uh, wait, what? Oh, wait, no. Just another... no, no, no. Sorry, I didn't mean to take this. It's not this one. Next one is a ring, sorry. Mm, you have ring. Ring. Oh, the vampire. Ring from the vampire. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Huh. That is interesting. Interesting indeed. Why do I sound like like the Harry Potter guy? Interesting. <laughs> only vendor. <laughs> yeah, yeah, only vendor. <laughs> <laughs> is it a ring, ring of magic? Ring of magic missile? <laughs> <laughs> ring of magic missile. <laughs> You wish. Mm. Oh, fireball. Oh, God, no. It's a ring of regeneration. Mm. Wow. What? What's that? Ring of regeneration, seriously. You can regen yourself, lah. Yeah. For every five steps, you gain one HP. <laughs> what does it do, Shia? Ring of regeneration? Regen yourself, lah. <laughs> Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, that is a D D and D ring of regeneration. Yeah. It is. While wearing, While wearing this, ring, this ring, you gain one D six every ten um, minutes. Yeah, because you have at least one hit point. If you lose the body part, the ring causes the missing part to regrow mm -hmm. and return to full functionality. Ah, not bad. After one D six plus one D. Ah. This one is. Suitable for thanks. Thanks. Yep. Uh, this one, so we'll definitely go to our Camilla. Wait, Camilla's the new tank, not uh -huh. the Gundam. Camilla is the, is the tank. He has the 19. The nine. Gundam only shoots from afar, not up front. Yeah, but when he goes up front, it's little. <gasps> uh, okay. So, okay, that's the ring. And then the, the rod and bag. Yeah, that's the. the uh, this is the Vincent Mobius Iron Rod 5 inch, is it? <laughs> Let's see. Are you going to identify the rod? Yep. Yes. We're going to identify the rod. Identify, identify. It's a route of absorption. Ooh. That's a what? What does it absorb? <laughs> Use your imagination. <laughs> it yep. absorbs uh, liquid. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, no, that's a sponge. <laughs> it's a sponge. No, it's a rod of absorption. Ah, cool. Okay, we can use this. I have no idea what is it. This one is a very rare item. Yeah, very rare. As a reaction to absorb a spell, ooh, it's like you're negating. It's like a counter spell, but instead it's just absorb to spell. Targeting only you and not with an area effect. The absorb spell effect is cancelled and the spell energy. I need, I need this. Yes. Yep. I can convert it to spell slots. Yes! I can, I can more spell slots now! Yeah, but who, who, who will get it? Because more found it. And Morp is also a caster. Oh, we'll discuss it later. It's either between me, uh, 
uh, also mob. I the rest, I'm not sure. Chen Chen, you want you want the rock also absorption? No, no, never mind. Thank you. <laughs> Level of health. Okay, now we, we we go on to the next one. The next one is the back the back from mob. Is there anything inside here? Nope, it's empty. Is the back itself? Is it magical here? It is. Bag of holding. Um, bag of mimic. Oh God! No, we cannot. What the fuck again? As uh, Camille, uh, it does his incantation or uh ritual to identify that the back seems to be moving a bit. Oh. And. Oh. It seems to be moving as if to bite Camille's feet. For real, this? It's a bag of devouring. Oh, oh no. What? what does he do? Uh? Uh, let's see what does a bag of devouring do. Uh, it says, ah! Yeah, next. Like- the exclamation creature attacks the bag and sets whatever is inside the bag. Animal, vegetable matter placed wholly in the bag of the bower, lost forever. The power of the living creature is placed in the bag as happens when someone reaches inside it. There is a 50% chance that the creature will be put inside. It's basically a weapon. La. Oh. oh, inanimated object can be stored. But there's a fifty-fifty percent chance if you try to take the item inside the bag, you can be stuck into the bag. That doesn't seem useful. I uh, know it, it. It kind of is if we want to dispose of evidence. It is a superficial bag of holdings, but uh, yeah, the downside is if you try or anyone uh, put his hand to take out something, you have a fifty percent chance to be stuck in the. Be eaten. Mm. Be the power. Mm. Shit. <laughs> you can try to escape. DC 15 strength uh, check. Wait, oh, DC 15 strength check. Uh, doing so with a successful D20 check. <sighs> it's a gamble, lah. Yeah. So. <laughs> I I let let's let's subdue the back. Yeah, can can we the the can we manage to subdue the back? I assume. Yeah, it's not really that mobile. It's trying to. Well, trying to bite, but then again, otherwise it's not moving most of the time. I think um, it's because of the magic. <laughs> basically, yeah. it's somewhat a superficial banishment spell. You have a fifty percent chance though. You can try. <laughs> oh god, no, no. Let, 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 let's 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 take that first. Let's get that first, and let's let's go to the next item. Okay. Uh, the 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 stone that I found from the black pudding. Stone. Yeah. By this time round, is Camille not tired already? <laughs> okay. Yeah, anyway. I've been I've been singing a concert. Camille has stamina, man. That's why the ladies love him. <laughs> I, I saw four mm-hmm. ladies. Ritual cast. Oh. Alright, sure. Uh, it's a stone of good luck. Ah. Oh, what is it doing? Uh, let's see. Ooh, it is a proper item. You gain a plus one bonus ability check and saving throw. Hmm. Good luck oh. to you, sir. <laughs> well, oh, that's good. Well, this Polish. Oh, cool. Wait, GM, just a question. Yes. Uh, the black pudding, when it did a saving throw and whatnot, did it get <laughs> the bonus from this? You might never know, <laughs> but you think that it is more resilient okay. than the ones that you fought before. Hmm. Fuck. <laughs> hmm. Actually, the more uh, good luck on so we can luck. Mm-hmm. Well, so that means that means if we eat the eat the stone, then we'll get good luck. So, uh, too bad for the previous owner of mm. the stone. Giggity. Not that lucky. 
That's about it. I think that's all. I I don't. I can't remember. Did I miss out anything, guys? Please, please let me know. Don't think so. Okay. That's my that's that's all, all. I think. Yeah. I'm going to circle back to Morbius. Uh, the book. Yep. The, the book. Cry of Winter. Is a collection of text descriptions and anecdotes from widely varying sources, all around the magical elemental phenomenon known as the Cry of Winter. Oh, nice. Ah, I have to split my reading time between that and the manual. <laughs> <laughs> I will finish on the manual first, lah. <laughs> All right. All right. Continue on reading the manual. Okay, sure. <laughs> yeah, Morbius, do you want the rod? I could use it, but my fighting style have much less use of it unless if I want to get. <laughs> but you keep the rod because you don't have flexible casting. Oh, oh. I, oh, oh. I, I. I Generally, I have an infinite amount of spell slot. Yeah, because, because I'm a sorcerer as well. Yeah, because with this one, uh, I I can do more. I can do more of our of the stuff that I want to do. <laughs> if, if we get if we get hit by a spell, I can do more weird stuff. Huh? My spell uh, slot is flexible, so I have not much to worry about. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. I'll, I'll take a hold of the rock absorption first. It's okay. We can always friendly fire you. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Boy. <laughs> Time to do against fumble, eh? <laughs> can, I, can I absorb my fum, my fumble rules? Eh? No. Don't think so. Nope. I don't know. Nope. <laughs> uh, what's the fun in fumbling and then absorbing? You, the, the, the key word is reaction. So you can only use the rod on the reaction. Yeah, you you will surprise yourself. <laughs> okay, so I think that's all. That, that's all the stuff that we get. Unfortunately, it's not a bag of holding, but it's a bag of devouring. Aglaron uh, uh, blade got update. Uh. You want to check? Ah, uh, Aglaron blade. Uh. Hey Chen, how's your Aglaron blade doing? Have you attuned uh, to it? Hey, you want to attune to the Aglaron yeah. blade? Should have been, tune. Oh yeah, he he did he did a tune. Yeah, I I think a full session ago. But you want to check it? I can you. Three identify. Identify for the sake of identify. <laughs> right. <laughs> so as you identify, you notice the the runes. You remember the the there are runes. Of the names of the owners of the previous, the previous owners of the blade, uh, it seems to have added a bit more rules to it. And there are two new runes that seems to be identical to each other. Ooh, Chen, can you read this? So Chen, do you read the 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 runes? Can 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 I can I read the runes also, Chen? Are you well versed in Elvish? Yes. yes. Rune, eyes of the rune keeper. I don't know. I don't. But, but I I am well versed in Elvish. Oh okay. Yeah. What what does he say? <laughs> Wait, what? You don't know how to read? Jem Jem, what what does he say? Uh, it seems it, for each rune, it seems to indicate that it is a uh, blade plus one. Hmm? Was it not? So how that's, how that's, many? That's, that's two. So it's, oh, it's two. Plus two. Plus two. Yeah. Wow. Wow. We got a wow. blade. A long shot plus two. It was pretty good. Finesse some more. Wow. Wow. Ten sword. And later it become proper blade. Uh, DM, by the way, the Rod of Absorption, how many uh, level of spells it has? You need to attune to it to know how many spells there is. I, I will attune to the Rod of Absorption. 
Well, to attune, you need some time, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I'll, I'll I'll spend some time, an okay. hour. All right. So, are you going to use this to fully rest, long rest? Yeah, yeah we need the long rest. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. Long rest, but I I want to attune first to the sword, to the blade rod. Wait, 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 wait. Sword, sword, lah, rod, the blade. Which one do you attune to? Rod, rod. I'll take the rod first. Uh, so wait, you're going to attune to Morbius five inch rod, eh? Yes, mm. that's also the case. This <laughs> five inch apple rod is not attuned to how? Uh, get get, uh, get how, get, how get. do you attune to it? <laughs> I attune it by by slowly <laughs> moving my hand across the shaft. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that, yep. We 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 are children. <laughs> yeah, that goes down here pretty fast. <laughs> Oh my goodness! <laughs> I think the DM, the poison dagger, need a tumor, nah? Uh, I don't. Yeah, I think most of the weapons does not only for this magical items. GM, does does Mitsu Sama's happen? Does it need a tumor? Do you do you want to test it on your hair? Yeah. Why not? The hair is too short. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, for the happy to be effective. But I can still use it, right? <laughs> Your hair is still too short. <laughs> GM, I I have a feeling there's other parts of his hair that might work. I'm not gonna go there. I'm not gonna go there. Not I was thinking about armpits. What were you thinking? Okay. <laughs> Uh, okay, my, so... my, my hair is long. <laughs> <laughs> GM, GM. Yeah, I can do it, right? Uh, you can try. Yeah, I'll try to do it. Right? Okay, how many, how many items that you are attuning to now? Oh. Uh, with the rod together, it will be with the rod and the hat pin will be three. Nah. Wait, what? Rod, the first one is pin, and? Uh, what is the, the cloak of uh, protection? Cloak of protection? Uh, okay. Yeah. Oh. So okay, you can try. So, but that it, it, it you suspect it requires a long rest so, to fully attune to that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I I will attune to to the rod first, uh, the to Vincent Morbius's rod. Mm-hmm. Carefully attune to it. Giggity. Should you get down on your knees? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, boy, we are children. Yeah. So anywho. It's, this this goes really sideways. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, but we just we just need a short rest, right? To attune, it's only one hour. Are you going to attune to the happy? Yeah, yeah. I I, I hope hopefully can find out what happened to the happy at all. Uh, Jam, what time is it currently? Uh, right now it's about nine. Oh, still nine. Ah? Yeah. Yep. With all the education. Ten. Probably. Okay. Yeah. No, for Wait. for that it's about. Then about eleven. Let, let's have that because the happen took longer time to. Yeah, because I assume ritual cast would be one hour. Is it ten minutes? Yes. No. Ten minutes. Uh, yeah. For a couple of items, study. Yeah, there, there's a lot of items, and some items are a bit more intricate than most. It's a whole concept, yo. Uh, why not we take the uh, the night off? A long rest. Mm. Yeah, I can attune them. Let's go a long rest. All right. Mm. So, um, you will spend the night, uh, into in order to long rest. Yep. And attune to whichever items that you have. So, uh, the the the, the clock shows is twelve forty two. Shall we adjourn for this session? Yeah, sure. Sure. All right. Yeah, sure. That's a nice place to end it. Yep. All right. All right. So, uh, experience-wise, collectively, you managed to get about three thousand three hundred XP collectively mm-hmm. divided, uh, by, six. divided by six. Yes. Three thousand. How much again? Three thousand three hundred divided by six. All right. Cool. So, oh, how much is that? Give me a second. Kicking it. Uh, each of us gets 550. Yeah, 550 each. Right. 
Don't forget the the bag of gold that the uh, marshal passed to you. Mm-hmm, that's tricky. Tricky. Okay, then I'm gonna distribute that one to everyone. Because the, our friend doesn't want it, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six. So everyone get five hundred, five hundred gold. Nice. By the way, GM, is there a yes. bank here where we can store money? Well, hmm. you you never exp- you never look for a bank before. Because you have so much, so little money. Oh yeah, that is true. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we were poor. Now we were rich. Now we need to store money. Not that rich. <laughs> Not that rich I'm, I'm still very poor. Well, so he says. But uh, can you can Leona roll? Uh, not perception is inside check. <laughs> so, wait, okay. <laughs> No, I, I, I am tired. Yeah, of you shit. believe he is poor, but then again, can everybody else roll inside check? Just for fun. Oh, sure, chato mate. Yep. I am tired of shit. Everybody except for Carl. Oh, that's at a... his statement. Fifteen. Nine. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, Kenneth, can you roll an inside check? He did. Kenneth uh, wrote... nine. Oh, he did a nine. Okay, sorry. Uh, it's uh, Chen now. Okay. Twenty. Okay. Uh, Twenty. <laughs> yep. Well, most of you does not believe whatever Carl is saying about not having money. Mm, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we still have it. The money is that fall, fell from the sky literally. It's for the pot farm that we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna invest. <laughs> I. So anyway, I hope you had fun. Yep, yep, the fun. Resolution yeah. of the Northern Queen. <laughs> oh, that, 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 that was that was fun. Like, you have a question. Sorry. Yes. How many days do I need to read that book? <laughs> no, no, no. The, the the proper question is how many sessions left. <laughs> yeah, because we had two sessions that we still are in the same day. I would say another another day, right. Another day. Yeah? All right. Yeah. Another day. Holy oh, shit! We can man. just take another day downtime, lah. The next session, uh, one day downtime. Why not? Oh god! Like with this moving world, I don't believe it. Right. Oh, man. So how do you like the moving world? It's a world? risk. <laughs> hey, it? risk reward. Uh, session was fun. Session was fun. The continuation of that ship battle thingy. Uh, mm. Thought it was going to be a cakewalk with the vampire only. There we met that slime pudding. Yep. Hey, guys, did, did we ever throughout the course of our adventure receive platinum? We did. Yes. Yeah, we yes, did. we did. We did. Without, uh, let him give us platinum. Mm. What did we do with the platinum? Huh? Uh, we kept it. Each of us get one, I, I, if I'm not mistaken. But mine was lost with shadow. shadow. <laughs> We, we we got actually we got two. Each of us got two platinum. Yeah, I recall two. Oh, yeah. did I did I you did I spend already? I, I think you spent it for your diamond. Oh yeah, yeah. I had diamond. Probably. Oh no, I think oh. I know where I went. Okay. <laughs> oh, the <pearl>. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. We we we. Hey, that was after we only got platinum after we got the pearl. That was later on. Well, then that's the Nila. Oh, oh. Right there, we were doing Mine's already gone with mm-hmm. Shadow. Mm-hmm. I think I fling at the playhouse, I think. Oh god. Was it... What? W- w- was it used as some kind of flex at the bar or something like that? I don't know. I just... I just... Pin it. Oh god. Flex. Mm. So, hope you guys had fun. So, I hope the session is something that you look forward to. <laughs> oh, I can't wait for next week. Next week's gonna be fun. <laughs> That's true.